Hey rock stars, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here to show you how to play the introduction to Diary of a Madman by Ozzy Osbourne and of course the late great Randy Rhodes, probably the number one guitarist as to why I play guitar today. Right? Okay, so here we go. We're going to show you, when I say we, I mean me, I'm going to show you basically the hand positions and how you might think about this okay i won't tell you each finger on each fret and all that stuff you can go to my blog below there's a link below where you can go and actually view the tab that i think best represents this now i learned this years ago by ear um, but of course now we have tablature uh, that can be found anywhere and that makes it very helpful okay so uh, if you need the specifics about this make sure you go to the the blog Okay, otherwise I'm going to show you basics here. Um, I'm just going to show you where to place your hands and how to think about this. This sort of thing helps you to memorize much quicker than, um, than tabs even. Okay, so for this first section, basically you're going to be in the fourth position. Okay, and for the first, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, for the first six chords, I believe, it's five or six chords, you're basically going to be picking from the low note to the high note and back, okay? The reason that I say that is if you get this sort of stuff in your, your brain, you understand, then it will, it will enable you to focus on other parts. So for instance, if we know that this is the way we're supposed to hold our hand, so this is the fourth position, our first finger's behind the fourth fret, then... And we don't have to think too much about the picking. Sweeping up, sweeping down. Okay, and for the first few chords, that's what we're gonna be doing. For the second chord, you're just moving one finger. Now we're moving to the third position. Again, you should be looking at your tab. Starting on the A string again. This is all starting on the A string, going to the high E and then back. Now this is a diminished chord, okay? And what you're gonna do for the second part is you're going to drop these first three fingers back and leave your pinky up here. Okay. Now we're in a whole new position, second position. Okay. Next chord, you're gonna drop the first finger back one fret to the first fret. And now for this next chord, you're just going to take your third finger and put it on the G. Now this is a slightly different picking pattern. Check out the tablature for this, but it's going to go like this. And then for the, la or for the second to last chord, basically first finger is going to be here. Second and third are going to be right here. Check out the tab. And then for our last chord, it's basically like an E major, except instead of your third finger being at the second fret, your pinky will be at the fourth fret. And you're going to pick up, go three steps forward, two steps back. You've heard that expression. Yes, that's it. So, so three steps forward, one step back, and then again. One, two, three, go back one. Cool. 
Now seeing this played two different ways, I've also seen it played like this. But um, harmonics and what have you happening on an album, I'm thinking that's the, going to be the correct one, the one that is represented in the tab, okay? Now, this next part's super cool, super easy, very, very uh, classical uh, in feel, a lot of what we call pedals. And uh, so you're going to be in the second position, you're going to put your first finger here at the second fret, fingering um, the second fret of strings three and four. And it's going to go like this. This section is going to be power chords. So more on that one. Basically, what we've got here is a uh, let's see, similar. Similar to what we were doing in the beginning, at least one part of it is here. So, viewing your tab, you're going to be in the fourth position here. So, we're kind of doing the sweeping motion again, starting on the high note or on the low note, and then going up to the high note. Then, you've got that diminished chord from earlier. And that second chord where those three fingers move down, remember that? And then the second time around, so instead of grabbing this A note here, you'll grab the open E. So instead of second time around it's makes sense okay that's part one that's the intro I'm gonna be doing an electric part for the pre-chorus and all that good stuff as well so stick around for that hopefully you like this video if you did thumbs up and subscribe and all that good stuff spay and neuter be kind to animals see you later